Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Chalking with Bridget. So you guys are my replay viewers. <laughs> uh, we're gonna do this live tonight, so you're gonna wanna fast forward for a couple minutes till we get started, but let me tell you what we're doing. We are doing, I've been wanting to do this for a while, y'all, for real, like. Okay, so uh, we have this pillow. You know I love the pillars. So I did the Halloween pillow, but this one is not a haul. This is called Let's Get Cozy. And it looks so cute on a pillow. So we're gonna do it with ink, but we're gonna also use the mini buffalo plaid for the cozy part. And I've never done this before, and I'm so excited, but I'm nervous, but I'm doing it live. So you guys are gonna help me, <laughs> right? Because y'all know I cannot be left unsupervised in my craft room. Things happen. <laughs> so we're gonna wait for supervision to get here. I am gonna go over here to my computer, make sure that we're broadcasting. So if you guys are watching the replay, if you click share, that would greatly help. And if you do hashtag cozy, that lets me know. Type hashtag cozy if you share it. And when we get to 50 shares, I'm gonna do a drawing. So you can still participate even for my replay viewers. But in the meantime, I have to wait for all the live people to hop on. Because there's a delay from the time that Facebook actually notifies you guys like it takes a good five minutes for people to start popping on so unfortunately um this gets recorded and then my replay viewers have to fast forward but you'll know just fast forward a little bit and then you'll be good and then we will get going with it i wish there was a way like to edit it out I, there might be and i just don't know how to do it so i'm excited this is gonna be cool like i saw somebody else do it i don't know who but i was like i have to do that and I'm scared, y'all. It's scary when you try something new for the first time. But luckily, I have another side to the pillowcase. <laughs> no, it's going to be fine. It's just learning, like, new techniques and stuff, which I love to try, which is always scary, especially with ink, right? Like, with the chalk paste, you can just wash it off. Um, but with ink, not so much. Okay, so I need to share this while people are popping on. It might be a little early for you guys. It's like 8.30, 8.25. All right, it takes a minute. So when you guys get here, make sure you say hello so I know you're here. Even if you're watching the replay, you can still say hello. If I'm still live, it will say live. You'll see it up and there'll be like a little timer to tell you how long I've been on. But if you're watching the recording, it will say recorded live. Um, because sometimes people are like, think I'm still live. I know, it's kind of confusing. But I will answer your questions if you have any during the recording. All right. So I'm sharing to my group. And then I need to share on my timeline. Um, almost done, y'all. And we're going to get started. We had a, but I think we had like 20-some people last night. I mean, there was a lot of y'all on here. All right, and let me share it to my personal timeline. Now I'm getting messages from people. <laughs> Mary sent me a message. Hello, make sure y'all say hi. We're getting ready to start. I see people popping on. Look at that. Like I start sharing and y'all just magically appear. Hey guys, let me tell you what we're gonna do. All right, hold on. Can you guys share? That would be great. Share it on your timeline or if you have like any crafting groups and then do, um, oh, Mary sent me a message. Mary, I will check it when I'm done. <laughs> I don't know if she's on here. All right. So you guys, all right. So tonight we're doing something different. I'm so excited. I'm like so excited and I'm nervous. So I need y'all's help. So we're doing another pillow because it's getting to be fall and it's like pillow time. Like in the fall, don't you just want to like snuggle to a pillow for real? Like <laughs> that's why I love, I love the pillows, but these are awesome. But the one that we're doing tonight, this is just our regular square canvas pillowcase. They come in a two pack. Look at how cute this is. We are doing, this is huge. Let's get cozy. Oh, thanks Tina. Tina shared, appreciate it. Hey Jane, how are you? I love when y'all pop on because y'all know I can't be left unattended. <laughs> I always cause trouble in my craft room. 
All right, so let's get cozy is what we're doing today. But look, we're doing this a little bit different. So the cozy part, we're gonna do with buffalo plaid. This is mini buffalo plaid. So we do have a big buffalo plaid. I wanna show you guys the difference. That's a big difference. All right, so this is our regular buffalo plaid and this is our mini, okay? So there's a huge, and these are huge. This is um, this is a D size transfer. So y'all wonder why the D size transfers are so much, because they're big, they're huge. So we're using the mini buffalo plaid for this. So when I first saw somebody do it, I was like, I wonder which buffalo plaid they use. It's definitely the mini, all right? So we're gonna start from scratch. I mean, these haven't even been opened. So make sure you guys say hi when you pop on. I'm excited. So the other issue I had was color. Of course, I'm almost out of black ink. I really wanted to do it in black, but I'm gonna do it in this Tide color. I think it's gonna be pretty, and my house is tropical, and um, if it looks good, then I'll order some more black ink, and then I will do it in black. I'm sure it's gonna look great. I always get nervous. All right, so what am I doing? Okay, so let me explain what I'm doing. This is our square standard size pillowcase. All right, you have to work with an ink mat, guys. You can't just do it without one of these. All right, so um, all of my people that order ink projects, you must have an ink mat. Our ink mats are specifically designed to fit in our pillows. So if you order this square pillowcases, you need a square ink mat. If you order our lumbar pillows, which are the like rectangle ones, you need our rectangle ink mat. So. Please don't forget one, but you don't have to keep buying ink mats. Once you get one, you're good. And you can use the same ink mat over and over. I mean, I use it for all my t-shirts. I have one of each size and I use them for both. So it's kind of like a one-time thing. Once you get it and you've got it. Jane said, I love that color. I do like the tide. <laughs> I'm like, you remember that song? The tide is high, but I'm moving. Isn't that good? I can't sing. I would sing, but um, I would play music, but Facebook frowns upon that. So I'm just smoothing out the wrinkles. All right. Um, I did iron this like a couple weeks ago um, just to get it smooth. And this is my sticky side, so it's going to give it a little bit of a stick. Okay. So, this is where I'm nervous. So, we have to, this is like a two part thing here. We have to do the let's get and we have to do the cozy. So we should probably do, and it's gonna fit perfectly on this pillow. So um, I haven't opened these yet. Let me get them open and I have scissors over here. So you guys see exactly what you have to do. <sighs> All right, if I can get it open. If you open it, if you open your transfers from the one side, you can put them back in and store them in there. I'm pulling it out of the bag. I love that sound. Okay, so this one you actually cut into two pieces. All right, so you can put the Let's Get Cozy wherever you want. Uh, I'm do it all. I'm just gonna cut it right down the middle. It's actually really big. I didn't think it was this big. So sometimes this stuff can be deceiving. So when you're ordering or when you're looking at projects, check the size. I always tell people, check the size and um, get a measuring tape. <laughs> All right, you can kind of tell by the letter, like if it's an A size or B size, or this is a D size. Um, but I would hate for you to order something like this and think it's going to fit like on a little 9 by 12 frame because it's not. So definitely make sure you guys are checking the sizes on things. Should we do, let's do the buffalo plaid first. Let's do, so we're going to do the cozy, but we're going to have to do a transfer within a transfer. This is what's making me nervous because I've never done this. So we have to open our buffalo plaid, which I haven't used yet. And we're gonna lay the plaid down first. Then we're gonna put the cozy on top of it. So it's like a two part thing that we're doing. Like, and then we're gonna ink it. And I'm scared. I hope it turns out, but we're in this together. Right? Because I've never done this before. Okay, so obviously we don't need the whole buffalo plaid but I don't want to cut this because, so I'm going to have to take the backing off and this is going to be a hot mess right here. All right. <laughs> this is like, you probably need a second person for this. So if anybody's in the neighborhood, I live in the stick show. Make sure you guys say hi when you pop on. 
And there's somebody watching here that probably has a better way to do this. And if you do, just let me know. I'm just improvising. All right, so these are sticky, guys. So this is what I'm gonna do. I am gonna just put my buffalo plaid right on here. I don't really care. Um, it doesn't need to hang off the table because we're just gonna, we're not gonna um, do the whole thing buffalo plaid, just the cozy part. But I wanna make sure that it's semi-even because I don't want, I'm just lining it up. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, right? Because we know that all of my stuff is definitely a Bridget original. So I'm literally kind of lining it up and smoothing it out. And we're going to put our cozy down on top of it. <laughs> I'm so nervous. <laughs> Notice, you know what I did not do? And I did not fuzz. And I think I'm going to fuzz this because I'm a well. It'll come apart when I get it wet. I'm nervous about this transfer sticking to my buffalo plaid. That's going to be... Let's see how sticky it is. Some of them are stickier than others. This one's not as sticky. Some of them are like crazy sticky. Okay. I'm not fuzzing because we're using a different surface. All right. Ready? So I'm going to put my cozy... Right here. Can y'all see how that's like a transfer over a transfer? I'm a little nervous. I'm gonna pull this down. I'm not gonna lie, I am a little nervous. I've never done this before. So this is a brand new technique for me. And you're seeing me do it live. So if I ever become like a professional pillow person, <laughs> Jane said you will do great. Thank you for the confidence, I need that. It makes me nervous, but that's one of the things you guys are always getting the real deal with me. I don't pretend to be this like amazing crafter like I know a lot of you are. I'm me. You get what you get. <laughs> and I end up with what I end up with. All right. So let's get, I want to make sure that this is good and down. Because I don't want any, I want to make sure that it sticks good. We want to have crisp lines. I'm nervous. I'm a little nervous, y'all. I'm not going to lie. All right, so we have our ink. Let me get my wet wipes. It shouldn't really take too long to do. Okay, so I got wipes just in case. Dun, dun, dun. All right, let's get our ink. Remember I said I'm doing the Tide. I really want to do it in black, but the good thing is, is um, I can make as many of these pillowcases as I want because I can reuse both of these transfers so it's not like it's one and done. So you could actually make a set. I should probably use the bigger one. We're just gonna go with it. I'm just nervous, we're just gonna do it. All right, so I'm getting my ink. All right, and I am just gonna start. Now you do use ink, you use a little more ink than you do paste because it's gonna, you're going into a porous surface so it's gonna absorb, that's normal. I'm just worried it's gonna like come up. Okay. Is anybody else nervous or is it just me? You guys are all calm and cool. You're like, let's see how bad she messes it up. That's okay. I think it's gonna be fine. I think it'll be cute. If it turns out right, I hope it turns out right. They made it look easy. <laughs> We're gonna find out. I think the buffalo plaid is adorable in itself, just like as a background. That's why it's so big, because you can use it not just on your, um, you don't have to have a surface that big. I mean, you can use it on anything little. Okay. So I'm just making sure that the ink goes down. Now, I have done some ink before. I've done a lot of t-shirts and stuff. Um, so you just want to make sure you're getting good coverage with your ink, because it is going to absorb into your fabric. So you want to make sure that you're kind of generous with it. But you don't need too much. I mean, it, it's pretty good. A tub of this will last you a while, depending on how much you're using. 
We made a ton of t-shirts and I haven't reordered. That black ink that I'm almost out of, that's the first tub that I ordered. And that was back in December. So, and I use a lot because I'm always doing projects. So, it's not like you guys have to constantly order it. I'm nervous. <laughs> I wonder what this is going to look like. That's another reason for y'all to stick around. Just to see how it turns out. And to laugh at my mistakes. I don't know. I think it'll be all right. I think it's going to turn out cute. I'm just making sure that it gets down in there. And you'll be able to see because it'll absorb in. Just making sure. I want it to be nice and pretty. And then when you guys love it, you're like, I want to order some and then I can make them for you. But these are going to be like, because I just feel like, okay, football season's coming up. You know how you just want like a cozy blanket and a comfy pillow? That's what this is reminds me of. It's like comfort and like meatloaf and sitting on the couch eating meatballs and you know what I mean by the fireplace. That's what this reminds me of. Like the cozy. Let's get cozy. So I just think it's a great, a great theme for a pillow. I mean, I don't know that it was intended for pillows. It may have been. I just thought it would be awesome. You could put this on a blanket, too. I know there's a lot of quilters that use our products, so you could definitely put this on a blanket, which would be cute. I don't know how to make a blanket. I'm not that talented. But you can put this on anything. You could put it on a frame in your bedroom. Let's get cozy. <laughs> The snuggle. I just like this. I'm a snuggler. I love to snuggle. I snuggle with my dog. I used to snuggle with my kids. Not anymore. They don't like to snuggle anymore. <laughs> They're 25 and 18. <laughs> They're like, Mom. <laughs> All right. I'm excited to see what this is going to look like. Is anybody else nervous? Man, it's quiet tonight. Maybe I hopped on too early. I'm trying to find the sweet spot of what time you guys are on. Now next week, we're gonna try to go live. I am going down to see my mom, going down to Florida. I'm gonna try to take a project or two with me to go live while I'm there, but I'll still be around answering questions and doing stuff for you guys. And I have some really cool stuff I'm gonna post while I'm gone. Even though I won't be live, there'll be some cool stuff coming out. All right, I'm nervous. And these suckers are hard to wash. I These larger transfers, um, if you have a, like a washroom tub, you know, like a, in your laundry room, I, I'm fortunate to have one, so that's where I'm gonna wash it. Um, but these larger transfers, I would stick it right in your bathtub because they will stick to each other. But if they stick together, only thing you have to do is run it under um, warm water and then um, they will unstick. And then when you dry them, they will restick. Okay, I think we got everything. Are you guys ready? I'm nervous. We need a drum roll. All right, let me wipe my fingers off. <laughs> I'm so nervous. This is the moment of truth to see if our cozy is going to be as cute as, <laughs> as I thought it would be. Okay. I'm just going to pull up both transfers at the same time. I'm going to peek. See. I feel like I did something wrong. <laughs> I don't think I did this right, James. <laughs> Something didn't come out right. See? It doesn't look as crisp. All right, hold on. I think I'm supposed to use a base color. <laughs> All right, y'all, we're learning this together. I think we did this wrong. I, well, this still, oh, you can see it. Now, never mind. Maybe I just need to back up. Oh, now I can see it. That did turn out cute. 
Okay, so I was looking too close. What do y'all think? You think it's right? I'm wondering if I should have used like a base color though. I don't know. I like it from a distance, but looking right up on it, I'm like, what the heck? I kind of like it. Okay, let's do the cozy part. Tell me what y'all think for real. Like, did I miss a step? I might have. <laughs> let's see. All right, let's do this top part. Why does it look so cute? Let's get, I'm gonna try something different on the back side after this dries. So I am doing the top part up here. Why does it look different in like in person? Jane said, I love it. And Tina said, oh, that's beautiful. Hey Lisa, thanks. It does, it looks weird up close, I'm telling you. But from a distance, it looks awesome. It's so weird, guys. Okay, let me do the let's get, and then, because we have to finish it. And I'm gonna try something a little different on the back. Once, well, we have to dry this. Will you guys hang out with me and we can play? I have to wash my transfer, though. I can't just reuse it. This was nerve-wracking, like, because I wasn't sure what it was <laughs> gonna look like. I'm just doing the let's get part at the top with the ink. <laughs> I'm just filling this in. So somebody did it with the black. Oh, Lisa said, I love the color. What is it? This is Tide. I don't know. I think it might still be available. I don't know if it was like a permanent color or a special color. I'm having to go with what I have at home right now. I wanted to do black, but I'm almost out of black ink. And I was worried that I wouldn't have enough to finish the pillow. But yeah, I think the tide is really pretty. And my house is tropical, so this will go perfectly. It's gonna go up on my sofa. I still have my Halloween one. Somebody was gonna buy it at a vendor show the other day. You know, remember the um, Victorian skull pillow that we made? My messenger is blowing up. All right, so let's take the let's get. I'm just making sure that it's in there good. All right, adorable. That did turn out cute. Okay guys, I like it. I was nervous. Did you get your pillow coat? Yes, these are from Chalk Couture. These are our standard pillows. They're in our catalog. Um, I try to get everything from there because our, our surfaces are amazing. And they're comparable or what you're going to pay if you try. Like, one of my girlfriends came over and she was like, oh, I was at Hobby Lobby and I bought a pillow cover. And I was like, really? Because mine are a dollar cheaper what I get them for. And they look, so they look, I like ours. There we go. What do y'all think? Let's get cozy. I love it. From a distance, when you're right up on it, it looks weird because you're looking at the plaid so close to your eyes. That turned out adorable. So we have to let this dry. Like, I don't want to flip it or do anything to it. I think it turned out super cute, guys. Like, I'm going to leave it. I thought maybe like if we did like multicolor, but I think it just turned out awesome. It just, I'm telling you, if you look at it close, look at it up close. Doesn't it look weird? Like right up close? It kind of, it's one of those like, it messes with your eyes. And then when you pull back from it and you look at it, it looks amazing. But it's like, it's, <laughs> it's just totally messing with me. It's like one of those like, you ever see those pictures? Um, like where you have to stare at it for so long and then it like you finally see whatever it is you're trying to see you know like the artist pictures it looks so weird up close but from a distance it looks awesome I'm absolutely loving this I have no idea who came up with this because I totally stole this idea from somebody um, but I think it looks so cute so that is let's get cozy so um if you guys are new to the ink process, this is permanent. It's going to be super cute when it's done. We have to let the ink dry completely, and then you have to heat set it. That's the biggest thing. 
Once you heat set it, it's permanent. You can throw it in the wash, do whatever you want. But this is what the pillow is going to, well, obviously a different design. But this is the same pillow. This is the other one that came in the set. They come in the set of two. But you can see how fluffy and soft. Well, I bought the stuffing at Hobby Lobby. You have to get stuffing for them. But this is the Victorian skull that we made that is just like, like you just want to like sink into it. It's heavenly. This one's going to be the same way as soon as I finish it. So I have to do the other side, uh, but I need to dry this so I can flip it over and do the back side. And I could do the back side in a different color if I wanted to. Um, but this again is our ink and I'm not sure. Let me see if it's, I will answer that for you and see if it's current. If it's not in the catalog, it doesn't mean we don't have it. Um, we do. It's in the catalog. It's tied. It's this one. It doesn't look the, like in the catalog, it looks darker than what it is. But that's the color that I'm using. Um, it's the tied. It's the one or the I183117 is the color that I used for this. And it is still available. Um, we've got some other pretty colors. The other one that I was thinking about doing was the Current Jam. I could probably do it like on the other side. Let me show you guys. This is kind of cool too. It's like a nice fall color. See that? I was thinking that would be pretty too. Um, but this one, I really, <laughs> I really like the tide. So I think we should let it dry because it's really, it's still wet. The ink takes a while to dry. So um, maybe we can do the flip side tomorrow because um, I know people are, <laughs> are gonna wanna see this again and I'm gonna wanna do it again to make sure I can recreate it. That just blows my mind. Y'all have got to try this. You have to get the mini Buffalo plaid. That's the one that I used and try this on these block letters because it's like, it's like a mind game. <laughs> it just looks so awesome from a distance. Love it. So tomorrow we will do the flip side of the pillow because I don't want to mess it up and I just want to let it dry. Um, but the biggest thing guys, when you are heat setting your ink, you have to be dry completely. You don't want it like tacky. You want it totally dry. So I'm going to let it sit overnight, blow dry it, um, or you can blow dry it, but make sure it's dry. Then I'm going to take the thing out, flip it, and then we will be able to do the back side of our pillow. We can do that tomorrow. We'll finish it up. So I'm excited it turned out. Thank you guys for hanging out with me tonight. <laughs> Jane, thanks for your encouragement. <laughs> like, I get nervous, y'all. Really nervous when I'm down here trying new stuff. So we will recreate it tomorrow. Um, I have another project I'm going to do, but probably not tonight. I was going to do, just so you guys get a preview. Halloween is coming and we have a spooky farm. We have a farm. So you guys see me do the farmhouse like months ago in the spring when it came out. But I'm going to turn this into a spooky farm. So keep your eye out for that. It's coming up this week. So that is all I got for you guys tonight. If you have questions, shoot me a message. Don't forget to share. So the share, the share word tonight is hashtag cozy. So if you share this onto your timeline or into a group, type hashtag cozy. That way I know when we get to 50 shares, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pick a name, and it can be on the replay, that's fine. And then I have my pick a prize board over here, and that person's gonna get to pick a number and get to pick a prize, and I've got cool stuff in there. Um, there's squeegees, there is board erasers, there is $10 chalk cash that you can spend with me to use to get transfers or more supplies or things that you need for your craft, craft room. She said, see you tomorrow night. What time will you be in? I'm not sure. I've got to work tomorrow. So um, it'll be probably in the evening. I might go live during the day too. I might do two tomorrow because I want to do that spooky farm. And then I'm leaving Saturday. So I've got, got to pack and i got to work. <laughs> so, so keep an eye out for me. If I know um, this time seems to be really good. You guys seem to be pretty active. I get a lot of people like, what time is it? Like nine o'clock. So maybe look for me between eight and nine, and we will try to get another project done tomorrow evening. All right, well, thanks for tuning in, guys. I really appreciate all your support. If you guys want more info, too, on becoming a designer, uh, if you're, like, hooked on this stuff and you're like, oh, my gosh, I need this stuff, um, shoot me a message, and I will tell you all about it. It's awesome. With the holidays, you guys can make a ton of money making all this stuff and teaching classes on how to do it. So, all right. Talk to you later. Bye, guys.